Felicidad was among the customers whose April bills were waived after Manila Water implemented a waiver program following water interruptions last March. Malaking tulong pag bawas ngin, kasi nakakatipid ka. The good news is all Manila Water customers will get another kind of relief starting June. All 1.27 million customers will not be charged for the first 10 cubic meters of consumption, equivalent to almost 154 pesos for residential customers. On top of this, more than 140,000 customers identified as severely affected or those without water for 24 hours for 7 days will get a rebate of almost 2,200 pesos each. The remaining balance can be used for future transactions. The rebate is part of the 1.13 billion peso penalty of Manila Water for failing to provide uninterrupted water services. All of it will be given to the public, to the consumers, and not a single cent will be kept by the MWSS. The essence of the idea is this rebate is going to be like an overpayment and will be credited to your account and you can use this going forward. Currently, 80% of its customers have 24-7 water availability. But with an almost 50 million liters per day deficit, Manila Water expects water interruptions to continue. We are trying our very best to be able to equitably distribute yung tubig. No? Kaya hindi pa natin talaga, uh, there are areas na we're still implementing yung rotational uh, water interruption kasi medyo kulang pa yung, uh, yung supply. Still, the MWSS warns that under the concession agreement, it could still impose penalties if Manila Water fails to normalize supply within 180 days. If they don't fix this, so by the time of September, end of August, uh, pwede po magdoble ang 534 million na rebate. So pwede pang another one, 534 million. So we're working hard na uh, bago yung binabanggit na mga dates na ito, ay uh, uh, makukuha natin yung 24 by 7 by 7 pounds per square inch or hanggang ground floor level. The MWSS, meanwhile, is asking Manila to explain why they shouldn't be penalized over the water shortage in the south of Metro Manila due to the algal bloom in Laguna Lake. They will be facing penalties, which is equivalent to rebates also, but the amount is dependent on the affected areas. Maynila, however, thinks there is no basis for the penalty as water interruption did not last for 15 days and only affected 12% of its customers. The firm also immediately implemented rotational supply interruptions and deployed water tankers. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.